Although the members of the Vatican II Church claim to be ecumenical because they dialogue and worship with non-Catholics, they fiercely oppose and persecute traditional Catholics. When I arrived in Southern California in 1988, the local Vatican II churches circulated many lies. They stated I was never ordained, the sacraments administered by me were invalid, and it's a mortal sin to attend a Trident and Latin Mass. In a real estate office in Canyon Country, a lady told one of my parishioners that her priest said that I was never ordained. My parishioner quickly corrected her, stating that she attended my ordination ceremony at Mount St. Michael in Spokane, Washington, a few months earlier. Father Gregory Coiro, God rest his soul, from the Archdiocese of Los Angeles Media Relations, stated that I was not a validly ordained priest. I sent the details of my ordination and the bishop who ordained, sent him the details of my ordination and the bishop who ordained me. After a thorough investigation, Father Coiro replied that my orders are certainly valid because the bishop who ordained me was in the valid line of apostolic succession. When I arrived in California in 1988, we had no church and I have to offer one Sunday mass and weekday masses in a rented house in Granada Hills, which had a large room converted into a chapel. The neighbors never complained about the arrangement, but Bishop Blair from the Los Angeles Archdiocese had filed a complaint. This resulted in an official from the zoning department to come and tell me that we could not continue at this location. Our Lady, the Queen of the Angels, came to the rescue and solved the problem for us. It was very soon afterward that a high official in the zoning department told the person who had contacted me, leave them alone. My best friend's father, Melton Nelson, goes to that little chapel. This gave us more time to continue to locate a church that we could purchase and call our own.